let's go into what you're playing. Uh, would you like to go first? Uh, you can go first. I can go first. I was talking for a while. It was a good chat, though. I know, but I, I just, you know. We can make that a topic. Don't want to hog It's like a topic airways. in itself. That was more of a rant. Okay. Was you, is, is your is your uh, airway in 4K? I, I don't know. High def I can't audio. tell. Evidently, the app's not optimized. Oh, snap. So I can't tell. Snap. All right. Well, I'll start with... Uh, I've been playing some Streets of Rage 2. Old school, retro style. Cool. I don't think I ever played Streets of Rage. You ever played Streets of Rage? I mean, maybe I did. I just don't remember it. It's a really fun beat-em-up. The, uh, my wife and I beat the first one, I think, last year, and so <laughs> we just decided to play this one, because we've been kind of in a retro kick lately. John, you're always in a retro kick. I know, I usually, I just, you know what it is? I just like to step back a little bit and, like, go back to the old days and play some good games, and there are a lot of good games, and there's a lot of good games, if you look, that you will never... You should change your gamer tie to Retro John. <laughs> retro John. Johnny Retro... Johnny... Johnny Retro. Johnny Retro. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty badass name. <laughs> Sounds like a superhero from the 80s. There you go. Uh, with neon colors. Yeah. And just need the sunglasses if we get to go. Mm -hmm. With the laser lights coming out behind you. <laughs> uh, so, yes. I've been playing Streets of Rage 2. If you haven't played it, I'm, I mean, you can find it on any Sega Genesis collection that's out there. Um, or you have the actual game itself. It's fun. It's a good beat-em-up. It's two-player. It's uh, the first one I remember playing. It had a very interesting story. Like, you go together the whole time, and then at the end, like, the last boss, the story is he actually, um, like, it's like, hey, by the way, you know, won't you join me? You can make all this money. So you have, a, you have an option to, like, be like, oh, yeah, sure, why not, or whatever. And you end up having to fight the person you're playing the game with the entire time. And, like, you have to have a death battle, and then you fight the boss. It's kind of interesting. I, it was a cool twist. I feel like we've had this conversation before. We have, because I was telling you about last time I was... Okay. Yeah. When we were doing what you're playing back then... So you played this game with your wife, you're saying? Yes. So did you or your wife win? Well, we never... This was last year. That's this, what I'm saying. So yeah, did yeah. you kill your wife? Uh. Or did you let her kill you? I think... I think she killed me. <laughs> yes. No, I'm not saying that you died. In, in the game. Um. Yes, yeah, she's in the background throwing a knife at me yeah anyway talking trash on your streets of rage yeah. uh, ability but actually it's pretty uh pretty hard game shoots rage too it's it's where uh there's like a point where we're on an elevator and just like bad guys start like hoarding you and it's it's pretty crazy so it's cool you should play we should play that sometime i'm done just do like a let's play or something i'm surprised we it. didn't play it when uh we did that let's play with the flashback system uh yeah so was that on there I think it was. I mean, I, I, I remember playing Golden Axe. But I remember playing Streets of Rage. I want to say it was, but I wasn't sure. I think we got caught up in Golden Axe. Okay. That's why we ended up getting to it. Um, but it's cool. You get this one. You get four characters. They all have different abilities and stuff like that. And yeah, it's. I I would say I, I prefer this over like Double Dragon or something like that. Um, at least for the NES anyway. But it's it's cool. It's neat. The only thing I have to say about the game is. Which, it depends on your skill level, but what sucks is the bad guys get stronger, mm -hmm. and you don't gain anything. Gotcha. And that's an issue. There's no experience. Yeah, you're basically just, you can use, like, this, you have a super move that drains your energy, or you have, like, other combos and different moves you can use. They're fun, they're cool, everyone's got a unique combo to it, but it's just a little frustrating, because nowadays, you know, everybody, like, you kind of, uh, everyone gets the same... Um, or I should say everyone kind of levels up as they go on it doesn't yeah. stay the same and so this yeah the bad guys get harder and you don't really get you just better. kind of just have to hold out you get all these lives and you gotta hold out so but anyway it's fun it's a good time and uh, yeah so I've been playing that I've been also had an opportunity to play some Neo Geo games um, I'll actually start with Metal Slug because that's that's a really fun game I always as a kid I remember seeing screenshots of this game. I know the name. I've never played. Yeah, and there's uh, there's a bunch of them out there, and it's just I remember seeing them, and I was like, what What is this game? Like, what is this? And I remember seeing it for like Neo Geo Pocket stuff like that, and I'm like, this game just looks so interesting. And but uh, if you play it, it's just it's such a funny, fun game. And we were playing the first one together, and 
it's just like it's like it looks all hand drawn. Yeah. All the uh, all the characters and it's just when you shoot people like they have the animations like you can set them on fire. They're like, oh, and you're trying to uh, rescue POVs as you're going through. There's crazy like contraptments like look at this thing that that you're fighting here. Um, I gotta open it up here. Oh wow, that That's was really small. That was a terrible picture to grab. Um, but anyway, it's like this giant ship thing and you're fighting this giant thing over here and it's just like there's different boss levels and you blow one section up and then it becomes some, something else. It's neat. It's it's a fun uh, co-op game to play if you ever get a chance to play it. So um, definitely in the, definitely try that. There's an anthology actually on PS2 that I've been eyeing to get. I'm just Actually, the price has been going down, so I might actually look into getting one. Go for getting it. That. Buy it up. Yeah. So I'm playing that and actually talking about Neo Geo and it's this is this is a reason why I actually like to go back to um, playing retro games and stuff like that. Now this game, Blazing Star, I saw the title, I put it in, I'm playing it. Hey, I didn't realize that this is a very expensive game. Oh, is it? I didn't realize that it's an actual. Uh, it's one of the, the like really good good games. I I never I just didn't know. It's actually a. Um, it's similar uh, gameplay, but it's a non-official sequel to Polestar, which is kind of the same sort of gameplay. Um, I guess what would you call it? like a rail rail shooter? I no, nah, I don't know if it'd be a rail. Sh- maybe it'd be a rail shooter. I don't even know how to describe it. I know what kind of game it is. Yeah, you're a ship, images. and then you have all everything. Yeah, it's so crazy though, man. It's like it's two player. You can play it co-op, obviously being two player, and then uh, but it's just uh, yeah, you're a ship, and then you're just dodging bolts and shooting that's what it is but it's just it's crazy the level design is really cool the backgrounds and stuff are moving the 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 enemies are insane uh the power-ups are cool you get cool little power-ups and yeah it's just it's an insane game like i died every two seconds but it's just it's one of those games where you're just like you just want to get further to see what else is coming at you yeah but uh that's why i like going back because i i'm sure there's tons of new games out there that that are hd better quality these of these versions i think you get this game on switch actually um, but yeah, it's just, it's nice to go back and kind of see where all this came from and it's good to play. Uh, so anyway, oh, and, uh, I think that was it actually. I thought I was going to, I thought I had one more, but this is on to you. So anyway. On to me. Yeah. What have you been playing? Um, yeah, we can do Destiny. Let's talk Destiny and especially this new damn weapon whisper of the worm all right so why is this important okay so i think it was last friday maybe thursday one of the days um <laughs> it, it became apparent that there was this anomaly that was happening on one of the planets which was, which was io right yes io and um this anomaly appeared after you killed a certain enemy on a public event or as a public event spawned and then you go into this anomaly it's a small little lost sector that leads to a jumping puzzle a jumping puzzle is crazy like we're talking like small little ledges that you have to jump on as a first person shooter um to try and get through and at the at the end there's this room you have to go in through go in kill all the bosses and you have a time limit to do this entire mission in order to unlock this weapon Uh, okay um I accidentally came across it not knowing what it was, so I went in by myself and I was like trying to figure out the jumping puzzle. I didn't make it to the room where you had to fight all the bosses, um, but I learned about what was going on later. And there was a giant Twitch movement. Like they had all of these Twitch streamers that were logging in trying to go and get this weapon, which was great. It was awesome. It was a good community moment. A um, couple things with this. Obviously, it was unannounced. Nobody knew what was happening. Uh-huh. It just showed up. Um, they made that plan at the Flashpoint for a reason when i say flashpoint you go for flashpoint you get high level gear for completing um public events that week okay um and with it not only do you get this weapon which is the pretty much the third generation black hammer which is the sniper rifle that everybody loved from the crota raid which allowed for you to snipe as many crit shots as possible and you just kept gaining ammo you never ran out of ammo as a critical hit as long as you kept getting critical hits it kept going (laughs) <laughs> you never had a reload and that perk was taken away when they did black spindle for taken king um because they thought it was too overpowered but it was the same kind of a thing it was a secret mission it was the nightfall or the, the certain strike 
you would have to, or heroic strike, you'd have to go in. I think it was nightfall actually. You have to go into nightfall and take an alternate path, and then you came across like another kind of side mission or encounter that actually unlocked the black spindle. Yeah. So now they added this weapon in, same kind of thing. Didn't tell anybody, um, and they put the original fantastic white nail perk back on this weapon. So this is like the god killer. This is the the boss tr- yeah. shredder. Um, so a lot of people were so excited to go out and get this. Um, I, I guess that I'm going to have to try it this week. It, evidently it went away for the, for one week, but it's coming back, I guess, later this week. Uh-huh. Um, and, uh, I need to, I'm, I'm back in destiny trying to level it up cause I want this weapon. Cause if I'm going to play this, continue to play this game, this is the kind of weapon that you want for raid bosses, um, big enemy bosses, whatever the case may be. This is the kind of gun that you want to have in your arsenal. Yeah. Um, for those kind of encounters. Mm-hmm. Um, the other great thing, the awesome thing that there is, there's like a secret like Oracle puzzle, I guess at some point in the, in the, the jumping puzzle or at the end of the map, but I don't know where it is yet. Um, but if you do, if you hit all the Oracles properly, it opens up a portal that you can look through. You can't go through, but you can look through and you actually see the vault of glass, one of the jumping puzzles from the vault of glass, mm-hmm. um, from the first game, uh-huh. which isn't in the new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, there's some really cool stuff that they're doing. I don't know if it's just fanfare. I don't know if they're building up to anything. <laughs> Um, but man, did it freaking put a fire under my butt to get back in and started <laughs> leveling up. So that's what I've been doing the last couple of nights. Yeah. Uh, I want to be able to go in and try and get this weapon the next time it comes up. I've seen this on Twitter. A lot of people are just yeah. like, it's like blowing up. Like, it's like, people are so like relieved when they finally get it. And yeah. It's just like, how long has it took me to get this Because it's tough. It's like a high level thing too. Like you yeah. have to be close to max level in order to do it. Uh, but I think it's awesome. That's, that's the kind of stuff that they need to do to bring the community back. Oh, absolutely. Um, and it's free DLC. It's not you don't have to go and buy it or anything like that. Um, anybody can go and do it. So that was an awesome. <clears throat> I like little thing. challenges, like puzzle challenges and stuff like that. I think that's they neat. need to do it more often, though. Like they gotta, they gotta make sure that they continue to do it. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of that high mile club from Call of Duty Four. Yeah, the child. Yeah, the mile high club. Mile high club. Yeah, that achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a nice little secret at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's what they gotta do. Um, I'm also playing. Um, Black Ops 3. Nice. Uh, I got back into it. I was just like super bored the one day. I didn't really feel, know what I felt like playing. They I gave, want they you gave Black Ops to look 3. like this guy. Absolutely, man. Um, they gave Black Ops 3 for free um, the week of E3 um, because obviously they're building up the Black Ops 4. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's still Call of Duty. Um, it's like one of those games you can kind of easily pick up and kind of understand it. Mm-hmm. Um, easy to participate in, hard to master um yeah that's a good way to look at it yeah absolutely and with call of duty 2 like with 3 there's still the jumping and the boosting and all yep. that other stuff and they're going to take that away supposedly in the next one Four. They, so, i think they're trying to ground back a little bit because it, yeah. it's just getting to the point where it's like insane that yeah i don't know it's just i don't know how the community itself looks into that but as a new, not a newcomer but like you're saying you know as yeah. a user friendly for someone to just jump in there you're gonna be overwhelmed by all that. Yeah, all that stuff. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to gauge my interest in Black Ops Four. I pre-ordered it on, pre-ordered it on Amazon because you can just pre-order it and just cancel it if you want to if you don't want it. Um, you have all that time to ponder. You still, you still get the beta. Yeah. Um, so I want to try out the beta and see if I like it. I'm looking for a, uh, Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield's good too. Um, the thing with call of duty 2 the, the three zombies modes look like they're going to be pretty interesting from what i've seen in the campaign and for stuff four. like that for four yeah. yeah for black ops um and then finally been playing a little bit more of the hollow knight um game's great it's a fantastic game yeah um i like it uh it's definitely there that has its challenges it has difficulty but the exploring uh factor of it um is really good and it's a little bit of a rogue type of a game too, because you build up like all this currency, and if you die, you lose all the currency. Um, oh, really? And there's no way of getting it back. Huh. So like, there was one time I got like 500, and I came across a boss, and the boss killed me, so I like, lost 500 of the currency that's in the game. Are they hard to get? Um, no, because you get them from every single uh, character that you kill. Yeah. But like, it's just like one of those things you don't really want to die. I just clicked on the same picture. It's alright. You don't want to really die when you have like a high amount of currency. Um, but the ex- you can look at the map real quick. Yep. And um, this is how big it is. I'm probably two or three hours in, and I've only really touched that like left corner. 
So I have no idea like what green any sections. of this. Yeah, it was a green section. Is like, uh, sorry, right over there. Yeah, I can't do it because yeah. my hands out. Um, but yeah, so I have the rest of the map to actually kind of mess around with. But it's just like it, it feels good too. And like the interesting thing that kind of like is unique, I feel like when you get hit, it cuts out the sound. So you get hit and it cuts out all sound. It just it oh, does really? something to me like emotionally <laughs> that just like get, like gives me anxiety at the same time. Yeah. It like takes away one of my senses. Oh wait, this was where you were. Yeah. Over there. Uh, it just like takes away one of one of my core senses and it just like messes with you. Yeah, I mean look, I mean just look at this like the art style and yeah. stuff like that. I, I love the way. Yeah, the, the art style is fantastic. I can't say enough about this game. It's such a fantastic look at this. game. Like it's not a really good picture, but look yeah. at that. I I just like. And they have different boss battles and stuff like that. Yeah. Is this a boss battle here? Yeah, this is one of the boss battles. At... Yep. Um, it's kind of like one of the first bosses that you fight, I think. Or yeah. the second one, maybe. See, I this is the art style I like, where it's like, what, what would you call it, like 2.5D? Yeah, some... it's kind of 2.5. Like, they have the background, they have stuff that you can interact yeah. with in the foreground. I like that sort of like the hand-drawn with the, with the uh, it's just HD goodness i wish yeah. i wish the new mega man was coming out like this like the the i wish it looked more like mega man x yeah. but like in this like updated style yeah and you see like that up there in the top left corner yeah with um the, with uh, like the little white face yep that like the big white face is pretty much like your mana i guess you can say mm -hmm. um and you can heal yourself by holding down i think it's the a button or whatever it is i can't remember yeah. I, I don't know what the letters are on the switch um buttons but you can heal yourself or you can use that mana to like shoot a wave attack and then there's other upgrades that you can get with it, but nice. I like it a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I have a business trip coming up soon, so I'm gonna kind of hold off, I think, until I get on get on the plane and kind of focus on it. Yeah. Um, I still got Celeste to play too. I hear such great things about that. I haven't played that yet though. What is Celeste? Let me look that up real quick. Yep. I think it's another Metroidvania. This game. We have to look this up. But oh. it's like old school, old school art style. Okay. So interesting it's like uh very like you can't even make out their face okay so it looks like 16 bit with yeah like it had i wouldn't even say it looks like 10 bit between 8 and, and and 16 bit yeah it's like it's like what if there was a a system in between super nintendo and ness yeah right here so interesting. Like, i got a like it's I a platformer play that. it is a platformer um I don't. I guess it was probably levels. I don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not Metroidvania. I'm not playing it. So if you're playing it, weigh in. Um, I have it. I just haven't actually started it up yet because I really wanted to play Hollow Knight. Yeah. Right, things are animated. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The way it looks. But it's like old school. Like you can't even see their face. And you heard this was really good. Yeah, I heard it's really good. <clears throat> it's a lot of uh, people's uh, runners. One of the runner ups for uh, Game of the Year right now, based on what right, people are like. Movement here. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, it, it looks it looks cool when you yeah. play like look at that that the frame rate the way it looks is pretty neat looks like there's a uh, challenge challenging aspects to it yeah it's going to be a pretty hardcore platformer probably yeah well that's neat that's crazy um cool yeah so that's uh something to look forward to yeah, yeah I gotta play with that. but uh so yeah hollow knight looks fantastic it as really well. is it's great all right, so that's what you've been playing. That is pretty much what I've been playing right now. I I haven't gotten back into Wolfenstein yet. I want to. I just haven't got a chance to. Yeah, that's just. Um, I do want to play Prey too because I got like I said a couple podcasts ago. I bought a bunch of games. Prey, yeah. They, what is that? For? What do you got that on PS4? Yeah. Let me just look at that real quick. I'm just curious. Sure, everybody's seen that one. You might like this too, though. Too, it's like partial horror. Yeah, look it's at like this Bioshock. Thing. It's like Bioshock meets <laughs> survival horror. Yeah. Neat. I like how there's like the camera's a little a little off. Yeah. You know, like a little, what do they call it? Like a Dutch uh Dutch angle? Sure. I'm just gonna you all understand. So you're gonna coin that phrase right now. <laughs> it's already out there. I can't. That's where I learned it. It's a film film thing. Anyway, all right, let's talk in some news topics here. 